Hail and well met on this surprise Monday evening. My warriors of light and darkness, my defenders of Eorzea, my Avengers of crushed tacos <laughs> in Tural. Uh, my name is Rune, and it is so good to be here with you tonight. Uh, very glad I got to do this uh, bonus stream. Uh, I, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. I I wish I was playing Dungeon World right now. Don't get me wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I would have been thinking about, you know, not progressing uh, in, in Dawn Trail and, and what a progression it's been. Uh, so money was good. Did not a sadly back to work tomorrow. I am, I am not back to work until Friday and I may actually send my, my boss another request for one more day off just to make it a full two weeks. <laughs> uh, I did not a today as well, except I mean, I did not a, not a, uh, with with the with the vacation my uh my sleep has been like absolutely my sleeping pattern has been absolutely destroyed uh so i did a lot of sleeping today and then i did a lot of then i did a lot of binge watching various netflix crap uh i'm hoping now now i did i i avoided uh uh, it, it's been, well, I mean, it turns out to be extra sleep, right? It's just I don't go to sleep. Like, so the problem is I'll go to bed for a couple hours and then it's squirrel time, right? And uh, so I'll get up and I'll read or whatever. And I mean, I should, you know, be working on my other classes or whatever, but uh, I don't know. I always feel locked into doing one thing at a time, right? So, so like the the per, I don't mind doing the. That's what I should have done. Uh, when I woke up in the middle of the night last night, was uh got another aether current. Well, I got Urkapacha done. Uh, it's in the can and ready for release this week. Uh, but I should have done the uh, the new zone that I know I have access to. Um five hours a night yeah no that would be perfect that would be perfect but what happens to me is like i sleep for a couple hours wake up and then you know uh kind of dilly dally around and then i kind of nap all freaking day right so uh i mean in, in the long run you know i i guess technically it would be more sleep but it doesn't feel like more sleep because it's not like i'm getting a solid block of, of time um also, I think Foundry uh, VTT mod is getting updated tomorrow. That's awesome. Uh, there was a stretch there where I don't know whether the developers for MIDI QOL changed hands or, or what, uh, but there was a stretch there where uh, it wasn't being updated. Uh, and the, the sucky thing about that is when you play when you play all virtual and you know the the players have gotten used to well the quality of life changes not not to uh not to be too redundant there uh it throws a jank into things um but uh that's that's good to hear that they're that they're updating it uh and what else we have here I think Don Trail is some of the best oh <laughs> some of the best dungeons trials like I, I, I love that I, I'm feeling like I have been, I've been really pushed, uh, as the mediocre player that I am. Um, and as much frustration came out of my, my, my mouth last night in the form of, uh, to quote, uh, what is it? Christmas story. 
uh, profanity that is still hovering in the atmosphere and will for, for a decade or two to go. Uh, it was still a fun fight. Um, you know, made all the more fun. Like, I mean, you know, like every attempt, I mean, there was a couple attempts in there where, where there wasn't progress or whatever, but it was my own uh, understanding of how urgent the timing is, right? Uh, and it was always that one, that one spot that was getting me. And then, you know, I got to the next hang up which was the when we're in the, all the when we're in the corner all with our AOE uh balloons around us and stuff um you know but that that too was my fault because i was i was the npcs behave so well in almost all the fights uh that that you uh you know as a player i i get lulled into a little bit of a self uh like uh what's the word i'm looking for a false sense of security uh perhaps is is the best word <laughs> what do you mean to <laughs> behave well 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 no but that was my fault right because i you know, I, I, once again, I just built up a false sense of security thinking that they would immediately, they would immediately scatter like, like real people do. Right. Um, now there's been times with real people too, where everyone runs it and it's like, no, we got to scatter. Right. Like sh shit happens, but you know, the onus is on, on me to play like a player and not play like an NPC, right? Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, it was, uh, the, the dungeons have been masterfully done. Um, and, and there is that reward. Uh, there's that feeling of reward for getting past something like that. Right. Um, Yeah, yeah. I, I learned a lot from that fight last night. That's all I'll say. Um, and I just, I and I love how my, sorry, I got to look at my, my arrows here. They're just gorgeous. Uh, I still blame the NPC. Oh, well, 100%. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fully blame myself. I mean, you know, but, you know, I, I, you know, once, once I got past that, that one point, I was like, okay, I've got this now, because because I know, I know the, the how like I regardless of what mechanic is repeated, I I I, I can deal with this, right? Um, and even if I would have wiped, it would have been like, okay, well, I got a little bit further. Like that's that's a great encounter, right? You know, yeah, it took me twenty tries. I don't care. It's, uh, you know, it, it's, but it was, but, but they were good tries. Like I say, if I wouldn't have been progressing at all or actually started to get worse, that, that'd be a different story. But once again, I wouldn't have a problem with the, with the, with the encounter itself. I would have to, I would have to step away, which I've done before, right? Like, you know, I've still got G unit to do, right? You know, uh, once once I get through through the uh, the MSQ and and you know, uh, I mean, yeah, the grind begins for gear and all that kind of stuff. But I can start to sneak in those raid shows again. Um, you know, the problem isn't with the encounter; it's it's you know, it's how I'm you know tackling what we're doing. That's that's how I. In my opinion, that was the hardest MSQ. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a uh, that was a freaking doozy, man. Because everything else, I at worst, it was a three shot, right? You know, like the the first 
fight with Bakul Jaja, right? You know, when uh, the, the sparring match or whatever. I had to do that a few times. And that, and, and once again, that, that's... I don't know if I would want to one-shot everything, because then that would tell me... Because I know I'm not... I'm an average... I'm a medium player. I don't consider myself above average, below average. I can I, I like to think of myself as a medium player. I don't I wouldn't want to one shot everything. You know, because then well, it it would you'd be wow, well, they've kind of dialed it down too much, right? Like you, you gotta you gotta challenge a broad spectrum of of people. Yeah, especially at level 90 plus, you expect things to be difficult. Like or, or at least a challenge, right? Take a few shots the uh, can to, to do what you got to do. Like, I mean, I love stuff like that. And, you know, and every once in a while, you're going to have that headbanger, right? Like, and I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about me in the 80s. Uh, you know, there, there's going to, there are going to be those encounters. And the, but the best thing that I like that I'm, finally starting to understand is recognizing or er, 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 thinking I recognize how a mechanic works and then working off of that assumption or learning, right? Um, and and so far it's it's worked. I, I progress with every attempt and stuff like that and and yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's really really good. And and the storyline, I'm glad. I uh, like like I've said from the beginning, like you know, you've got that uh, the upper level in your face. Oh, it's you know trials and you know like uh, to 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 become the dawn servant. But there, but there is that dark. From the beginning, there's been that dark undertone and. Well, I don't even think we've even seen the bottom of that dark undertone, but wow, did it rear its head last night. You know, uh, and, and in true Final Fantasy 14, you know, they do this, they do the switcheroo, a mysterious, yeah, nothing mysterious about that at all. Um, not especially after the way he handled his, uh, his uh his aid <laughs> um and i couldn't help myself uh during that scene it was like wow well, i'm gonna we're gonna you know, we'll rule the world together and I, all i could think of was the the conversation between soroman and gandalf right and gandalf when gandalf tells soroman yeah and he does not share power and i'm like oh here we go But I, I love it in, in true Final Fantasy 14. You know, you've got the you've got the one hardcore. Hey, Thalian, how you doing, my friend? You got the one hardcore, you know, villain that that kind of starts off. Yeah, he seems like an asshole or whatever, but just his 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 he he just becomes more and more of a villain, right? And then there's uh, then there's obviously the uh, the in-your-face villain who then you know you you get to understand it doesn't change him from be, being a villain, but it it gives him him depth and and the chance for uh what's the word I'm looking for? Redemption, right? Uh, and, and I, and I, that was part of, part of my sleeping problem last night too, is I kept on thinking about the MSQ. And there's one thing that, that, that sat me bolt right up in the bed that I'm not going to say out loud. Uh, A quick death should be redemption. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that. That is uh, one angle to that, right? 
Um, but to tacos, anyways. Oh yeah, quick death to tacos every time, man. Um, I I had a very bad thought that something bad is gonna happen to uh, Wuklamat. Um. And I really hope that's not the case. But anyways, because I because I was thinking to myself, well, if I was if I was a George R. R. Martin <laughs> right now, um, that would be a great way to kick everyone in the uh, the solar plexus and the nuts, or or perhaps the nuts to the solar plexus. But I digress. All right, so here we are. Uh, just finished up that lovely cutscene last night. Uh, I will, uh, that, that video is actually, I'm downloading it right now to process uh, through my editor. We should have it up later on in the week. And I will also have uh, the Urko Pacha uh, Ethernet guide uh, up this week as well. But anywho, let's uh, let's fire up this MSQ. Aaronville is ready to set off across that beautiful, beautiful sky bridge. Ready to get underway. Then present your travel pass to the guard and let us be off. You won't have to wait long. Enjoy sightseeing. The bridge to Jacques Toral. Sorry, Jacques Toral is wonder in its own right. Yeah, it looks like a wonder. And I just want to point out that man, when I level my my paladin or warrior, I want this outfit. This armor is unbelievable. Homemade enchiladas. God, I hate you, Ash. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. All right. This gate is barred to all save uh, those with express permission from one of the Dawn servants. Signed by Wow uh, uh, Lamotte herself. My apologies, sir. We'll wait here just a moment. Yeah, yeah, that hits. That's wowza. Oh, wait a second. I like his armor better. Black with the gold trim. Oh, shit. Here we go. The rest of the continent awaits, boys and girls. Ho, 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 ho. Shall we then? And once again, goosebumps, big time. Holy crap. Ho. Awesome. The far side of that great bridge unfolded the wilds of Shaloni, where the sun guides in the Shetona town. A harsh guide, to be sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. But sweeping change had come to the arid expanse when, beneath its red crust, Vast deposits of cerulean were discovered. Cerulean, ah. 
Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurtle on, driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. It is here that our journey continues, our path taking us along wending roads of steel, each length of track a declaration of hope and ambition. Cool, cool, cool. I'm, uh, I am, I am. Home, Yasolani, lies past Shaloni. It will be a long journey, but the railroad should make it easier. I am partial to, uh, one of, one of the very few things outside of, of fantasy, uh, that, that, uh, really... Uh, gets me excited is westerns um you know gunslingers and stuff like that so that 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 view of the western town i was like oh my goodness and i was like now i wish i was a machinist <laughs> or a gun breaker mm. the way to the train station let's write these fellows shall we <laughs> You fucking nuts. Look at the size of those bastards. Oh, let's take a look. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, yeah. It's like we've stepped into a spaghetti western. Look at the dust. Oh, freaking cool so far. Let's take a look at the old cacti here. Oh, I see something over there that's... There's a crystal off in the distance. Short on short on the roll neek. Ain't so a little sacrifice. I have a creature ready and wait. But if we uh, if you need to, then you'll have to wait. Roll neek have been acting strangely of late. More easily spooked and otherwise disagreeable. Picking out the few fit for rent. Through bothersome work. Like what kind of at that the evolution to think of that? So it's like that thing has two skulls. Never <laughs> expected a western on a tropical island, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're usually so docile, and ones I saw earlier didn't appear to be unhealthy either. But much has changed since last I was here. Not the best way to start our journey. Still, the train station isn't far. Seeing as we aren't in a hurry, let's go on foot. About that, sir. As well traveled as you look. It's not only the Ronit that have been giving us trouble. The wildlife have shown signs of aggression, too. <clears throat> Merchants should be returning soon with one of our beasts. Stick around until they do. I'll see you both on a Ronit for a safer trip. But yeah, as I was saying, like to see that horn that covers that even covers their face. So it's like they've got, they have two skulls almost. I do not F around with that thing. <laughs> Your offer is most appreciated, but I don't think my friend here is particularly concerned about the wildlife. Actually, I may be a little concerned. <laughs> the Ronique, Aaronville, the Ronique. 
Yeah, turn it. Oh, I know. Yes, sir. All right. Whatever gets us where we're going faster. You know what? <laughs> but the Ronique, Aaron built the Ronique. <laughs> this is your first time in Shaloni. I can understand your enthusiasm. It'd be a shame not to ride one at least once while you're here. Yeah, what he said. Oh God, I'm trying. He and Aaron Bill's like, oh God, I'm traveling with someone who's barely smarter than Wook Lamont. A fair point. In order to give you the authentic Shaloni experience, I suppose it's worth the wait. Right, change of plans. There's a small town nearby. We can pass the time there while waiting. Take it your head and, uh... What the hell? What's the wall? What's the wee? Hustawi. Uh, I'm assuming Hustawi, then. Have a man bring the Ronik over there. Just mind yourself around the drunkards and trouble me, see? Oh, yeah. And the music is awesome, as always. Wow. <laughs> like, just so much wildlife now. Like, in so much varied wildlife. There's is he little does he know that's right that's right runes coming to town last time i was here it was a little more than a camp a shop of three gonna walk into a duel well well it's become a proper town a ah, saloon or A rootin' tootin' double pistol class now. Yes, we do. I'm talking to you, you old bastard. Whoa, 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 whoa there, Sonny. <sighs> Give me strength. Ha, ha, ha. For the last time, the investigation is closed. There's no refuting the evidence. I don't give a shit about your evidence, you lying scum. You release my friends, or I'll make you wish you had. <sighs> Let me remind you who the scum is here. Your friends, who had the temerity to point their firearms at me, the deputy chief of the Dust Watch. And after taking them into custody, what should we discover but incontrovertible proof that they had committed larceny? They will not be released until they've paid for their crimes. Oh. I'd heard the peacekeeping force had been formed to deal with growing lawlessness. Seems the situation is bad indeed. Still can't get up a fuss, eh? Sounds like poor Zekua needs his bottle. <laughs> sure he wouldn't prefer his mama's tea? Whoa! <laughs> Treat me like a child, will you? 
My friends haven't done anything wrong, damn it! They've been framed! Oh, stubborn little runt. Uh, listen here, Zekoa. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you'd best comport yourself like one. That means respecting the rule of law. Order may be precarious here in Shaloni, but it can be had if each man does the right thing. And for those that don't, well, they have to answer to the dust watch. Mm -hmm. Now run along and think before you cast aspersions next time. Lest you hurt my feelings. Ooh, shit. Don't do it, kid. I wouldn't if I were you. Ah! The man! Is that? Motherfucking it's an idiot! There's a time to fight and a time to withdraw. For you. That's now. What? Hey! What are you doing, Zekawa? You better not be stirring up trouble. Wahute, you sack of Ronek shit! This ain't over! You hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. He's got he's the got gunslinger in his about? in his veins for sure. Nothing that need concern you, sir. Zekoa is simply struggling to come to terms with the low character of his friends. But for good measure, I'll have the men keep an eye on him. Yes, you do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go make my rounds. Well, well, well. I wasn't expecting to see your faces among the crowd. Talk is rife, there's a new dawn servant. Take it you found it then. The Golden City. <laughs> Aye, the contest is over. And as I needed to return home to Yasulani, I offered to show our friends some of Shak Tural. What brings you north? Nothing in particular, just seeing what there is to see. Yeah, going wherever the wind blows, eh? Gulul Jaja compensated me rather generously for our duel. I'll be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for the foreseeable future. Ha <laughs> ha But for now. I shall be moving on. Oh, by the way, I recommend you try the Saba tender. They may not look it, they're surprisingly delicious. <laughs> but we don't serve Saba tender here. No sooner do we set out than we run into excitement. At least no one was hurt. 
this dust watch has their work cut out for them. For as long as I can remember, all disputes, big or small, were settled by dueling. The peoples of Shaloni rarely saw eye to eye, and for better or worse, it was the simplest way to settle the different uh, way to settle differences. Since most would sooner not risk their lives, though it encouraged parties to pursue peaceful re resolutions in a roundabout fashion. The Dust Watch is likely established by supporters of Kona, preferring peace to be enforced through the formal rule of law. Reasonable stance, all things considered. If things ever got out of hand, what the oh, that's a mount, I see. Uh, the Landsguard would be forced to step in. What freedom they have now would be lost under Zoralja's authority. All of which is to say that unless a lengthy stay in the jailhouse appeals to you, be mindful of how you handle your arms in town. Ha! Aaronville would not dither about for long. I should like to think the stableman has arrived with the Roni by now. I'll go on ahead to check. If you still want to have a look around, then be my guest. Come and find us when you've had your fill. Well, first things first. Saloon here, quick. Ah, ah, cool. Very cool. It's a pretty fancy looking drink for, for a saloon. Oh, freaking cool. So this dude's wanted, is he? Interesting. Alright. Now we need my all oh, mounted combat. Oh dude. want to take a look at the, uh, the town here like I just love the draw distance in this game now and like they've really I mean now of course I'm gonna have to go back to the old the old zones and stuff just to take a look at them now because like this stuff like the the different elevations they've really captured on especially with that draw distance and just the sky now is uh is just well yeah i'm uh i am left speechless a lot of the time so Friend, I take it. Sorry to have kept you both waiting. Really, wildlife's not the only source of recent distress, I'm afraid. Also been a rise in robberies targeting merchants. As a result, we've got a lengthy list of folks wanting to use our Ronique. That's why I have to ask you to stop at Shesson Sh Sh uh, Springs. Shenoise, Shenoise Springs. There we go. For our people, yeah, oh, one hundred percent. 
you can see people once they get their their western garb all up and that's fine of course but why haven't the dust watch dealt with this banditry Mac and his fellows are doing what they can but they reckon the bandits are operating as a gang rounding them up uh, rounding them all up is easier said than done if you have anything of value you'll want to take care Thank you for the warning. We'll be sure to stay vigilant. Right then. You're ready to set off. See you on your way. <laughs> Let's do it. Ready? Saddle up. Friend seems to know the way, so I won't bother giving you directions. This is your first time, so take it slow. Take care not to let it toss you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I continue to be struck by how much Shalone has changed. A town we just visited wasn't even here several years ago. Out here in the West, yes, yes, spaghetti indeed. Oh, not just for the water in their stems, mine. Their fruits are also said to be both nutritious and delicious. Oh, little ceruleum dudes. See that hole there? There might be hope to find water there, but it is brimming with ceruleum. The eruption of flames from within make for a spectacle. It's very cautionary. Tales of people who wander too close. Awalaki, meanwhile, showed great reverence to Sorelium and its blue faint flames. But that is a discussion for another time. We're here. Good thing for these Ronique. No sooner did we dismount than the next passengers are already on their way. They really are short on Ronique. Now then. Oh. This is the Shashanawazi Shesh Springs. Perhaps the busiest town here in Shaloni. People travel here from all over, hoping to find their fortune. The change from Gosatawi uh, was surprising enough. But this is no less impressive. They've achieved a great deal in the three years I've been away. The situation is on the eastern side. Uh, sorry, the station is on the eastern side of town. There should still be time before the next train departs. If you don't mind, I'd like to pay a visit to an old friend of my mentor. I love the lantern, too, with the flame in it. That's just sweet. Ayate is her name. And if she learned that I passed through without saying a word, she'd never let me hear the end of it. She set out from our village some ten years ago, hoping to earn coin as she traveled about Toral. I can as but assume she came, uh, she too came here seeking greater opportunities. In any case, let us be, uh, let us see if we can find her. Her blue hair should make her easy to spot. In this game, are you kidding? Oh yeah, now we got some, some good western music going on.
look at the blue flames. That's just awesome. Got some sort of refinery here. FF7 vibe. Okay. Actually, uh, yes, I, uh, I, I would have to agree, uh, having watched now, I don't know if the remaster or whatever tonics was playing is the same, is still the same or whatever, but yes, uh, the, the zones I did see him in were very, uh, reminiscent of this. Oh, there we are. That's got to be from the uh, that fairy zone. Nice outfit. Hmm? Yes, I am Ayate. And who might you be? He is my friend. Could it be? Goodness, it is. Ellen. Ellenville, yes. Oh, keep the name here, eh? A man grown. You're such a darling little thing as a child. You know, it's only been three years since we last spoke. Really? Only three? I suppose it all starts to get hazy after a while, living as long as we do. Well, this is Ayate. Uh, She's known my mentor since they were children. Nice to meet you. Hey! Never thought I'd see a day when you travel with company. You really have grown, Alan Shepia. Uh, well, I know what now? <laughs> this is what they call you here? All right, all right. I was born in Lenshipia. I adopted the new name when I became a gleaner. One that adheres to Eastern Viera conventions. So as to avoid drawing attention. Given that this is a homecoming, it was only a matter of time before you found out. Nevertheless, I would appreciate if you could, would continue using my chosen name. First, buddy. A homecoming? You know, I've been thinking of paying the old stomping grounds a visit myself. It would be good to see Kachui again. He's the finest archer I know, and then ship his mother and mentor. Every time I drop by, she'd treat us to a veritable feast prepared with fresh game she'd hunted for herself. You're impressive with the bow too, Ayati. Even among the Shatona. Oh, I couldn't compare, compare myself to Kachuya. But her skill at arms pales in comparisons to her knowledge of nature. That's what earned her a place among the Glulja, among Glulja's traveling companions, after all. Oh. She was always the inquisitive sort, but her journey across Tural uh, lit a fire in her. Even after Alana Shipia's boat was born, she often left them in my care that she could embark on another expedition in search of the unknown. Well, well, well. Oh, how you would cry and beg her to take you along. It must have been hard on you. Ayate, please. What? We're all friends here, aren't we? 
no matter how many times he asked, the answer was always the same. You can come when you prove yourself a true explorer. Thus did she task me with finding the Golden City. Despite my best efforts, all paths led nowhere. I assumed it was but a dreamer's fancy, a ploy to goad me into experiencing the wider world. But it was real, and we found it. It sure did, buddy. You found it? As part of the Rite of Succession, I assumed everyone had heard. That's amazing. Oh, she'll be thrilled. And eager to bombard me with questions, no doubt. Awesome. Oh, are we going to get a meanwhile? Well, we should be on our way. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oops. Help! I need help! Uh oh. What's that about? We'll investigate. Please wait here. Yeah, ease up there, buddy. slip off for a minute oh all right uh hoping hoping for a couple more hours there buddy at the least brother we'll see you when you get back my friend These are the infamous local bandits. Mika, please, you have to help. I've been robbed. It's now Mika, Wuklamont's nursemaid. What the hell is she doing out here? Erinville, Rune! Come any closer and we'll slit her throat from ear to ear. Whoa. You'll do what now? You, if you so much as nick her skin, you won't live to regret it. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Did he say this is Mott's nursemaid? Maybe this ain't such a good idea. Take the goods to the boss. We'll deal with this. Wow. 
Please, you have to give it back. Yeah, sleeping nuke. I was just going to never poke a sleeping nuclear weapon. Very, very, very uh, wise advice. I'm going after Lumika. This is this lot I leave to you. Yeah. Cocky bastard. I'll hang him by the ears and feed the old woman to the dogs. Whoa, you're going to do what now? I'm about to shoot this arrow straight up your penis. We can deal with them later. First, we need to put this one in the dirt. Oh, yeah? Ooh, nice sword. Stresses me that that guy's a paladin. All right, yeah, 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 here we go. doesn't know when to quit oh I, th I think that was I think that was your problem more than it was my problem wrong me from an old last yeah exactly holy shit that guy looks cool but he's attacking me one of my new moves very cool holy shit Ginola all right all right all right oh stuck at a cactus You bastard. Oh, sorry about your luck today, buddy. You. I don't know what I would have done without you. The bandit managed to get away, but I have an idea of where they're headed. You said they stole something from you. A bracelet. It was a parting gift from Lamont. I see. Close as you two were, I can only imagine how much it meant to you. What brings you all this way? The reign of succession ended, and Wook Lamarck crowned the next dawn servant. She is ready to stand on her own. I told her as much, and of my plans to return home to Yusulani. Yusul she gave me the bracelet, that I might always remember our time together. It filled me with such joy. I wanted everyone to know, everyone to see this wonderful gift given to me by the vow of resolve now it's gone i would let the i would have let them take every coin to my name if only they had left me the that bracelet oh yeah you pissed the warrior of light off now i would ask that you, what you intend to do but i know that look <laughs> yes yes you do 
think it's what Wooklamat would want. We're getting that bracelet back. Yeah. Please, you mustn't put yourself in harm's way for my sake. Oh my god, dear. I can assure you, no harm will come to us. We will make certain of that. I understand your methods can be brutal. <laughs> but it would be wise to show some restraint, lest you find yourself on the wrong side of the law. Perhaps I should come as well, to be sure all proceeds as it should. Your ways can be brutal. I don't know what you're talking about, man. This is going to give him a little bit of a bloody nose. I don't know what to say. I can see why Wuklamot put so much faith in you both. For anything else, let's see her back to the to, to Shishenzoe. Sashenoazi, yes, Sashenoazi Springs. We'll be, she'll be safer in town, and with Ayate there to keep an eye on her, we should have nothing to worry about. Like acupuncture, exactly. The acupun the acupuncture just adjusts their chakras into better behavior, right? Thank you, both of you. now. Oh, hey, thank you so much, Mario Bro, a.k.a. Greg, Get <laughs> Greg, Greg, a.k.a. Iway. For that sub, my friend. Erinville told me what happened. And you needn't worry about Namika. Those bandits should find us. I'll kick up a fuss and see them driven off. Wow, this, uh, so far the MSQ is good, my friend. <laughs> That bracelet meant everything to her. And those bastards wouldn't care even if they knew. Makes me sick. But at least she's safe, and I know you'll be you'll set things right. Erinville composed a. Uh, Aaronville's composed demeanor belies his eagerness to help Namika. All right, let's go and recover that bracelet. While I have nothing but contempt for these bandits, as this involves a gift from Wook Lamont, we must be mindful how our actions might reflect upon her. I doubt Namika would find joy in the return of said gift if lives were taken in the process. Yeah, well, you know what? I got Urka, so I got Urka Pacha done, uh, and I'll be posting that later on this week. I can hurt, uh, like, lying through the zones takes the beauty of this game to an exponentially higher level. Like, I mean, like, there's so much to appreciate from the ground, and it's amazing, but once you get up into the sky, it's like, oh my god. 
what have they done? If it comes to violence, I ask that you stop short of killing them. The rest we can leave to the Dust Watch. Well now, that makes me think you're strong. Really strong, are you? I have saved the star on one occasion. I... yeah, I'm just gonna... more than any other adventure. Aren't we humble now? But the matter of fact, the way you say it, it makes me think it's a tremendous understatement. The artifact lamb looks so tight. Oh, I can hardly wait to see what the heck that stuff is. If your curiosity has been sated, then please indulge mine. Is there anything you can tell us about these bandits? Let's see. Well, of late, there's been talk about some unsavory types coming and going from Tutun Yawe to the, to the southwest. Is that the old mining town that was abandoned? Sheenus Glam, uh, the 76 one. I. I don't think so. I don't think so, brother. That's the one. Now the Cerulean extraction is big business. No one wants to waste their time picking up the dried up veins there. Yeah, Discord would like to see it damn straight. Show, show your shit discord brother sounds like a perfect layer for bandits not to mention that the one with the bias bracelet f fled in that direction so you'll be investigating that place I can let the dust watch know if you like No, not yet. It would be best if we went alone. There's something I'd like to ascertain. We've no objections. Right then, let's be off. Pardon any more. Cool. Nice. Especially with the Boca effect on it. Ah, it's gorgeous. Nice, 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 man. Give you the horns up for that. Another The gun is wild. It seems the pundits have claimed this place for themselves.
they've made no attempt to conceal their presence. How can the Dust Watch not have noticed by now? Question for another time. First, we must find the bracelet. I don't see the bandit who had it. Perhaps they're in one of the buildings. Ramshackle as they are, it should prove a simple thing to eavesdrop uh, on any uh, on anyone inside. You'd go and have a look about. I'll keep watch for trouble. Oh, this will be interesting. Never mind the never mind the fancy just chocobo. Alright, folks, just bear with me one moment. Uh, I do have to take a very quick bio break. And uh, we shall continue this amazing MSQ. Once again, thank you so much, uh Mario Bro, uh, for the sub. Uh and everyone else hanging out in chat. Always, always appreciated. I shall be right back. Oh, two slices of strawberry cheesecake. Woo! Sign me, sign me up. 
Bandits will not notice you here. You can safely eavesdrop them on on any inside. As you lean in to listen, you begin to pick out voices in the muffled chatter. I know where we'd be without him. Probably shoveling sand, praying we'd strike it rich. Ain't that the truth? Only an idiot would work the mines with easier money to be had. Not when we got a boss who could keep the dust watch off our backs. Ha! Hey, watch what you say. Wind's got a way of carrying secrets to the wrong ears. Maybe so. Who'd ever believe one of them sainted souls was running our crew? Ah, the plot thickens. Drunk, you bought your story about the old gold shitting alpaca, am I right? Ha 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 ha! Right, so we know we know the dust watch is in uh wow one of the dust whoa hey there oops whoops assuming we gotta try and stay a little bit uh, out of sight of these guys Hello, Ether Current. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, come on now. Up this side, maybe? Notice you here, you can safely eavesdrop. All right, you lean in to listen. Familiar voice rings out through the wall. Let me out of here, you bastard. Shut your mouth, you sniveling little brat. Make me. I'll get you all back for framing my friends. Vulture most of all. You tell him he can eat shit. I kind of I kind of had a feeling that kid was uh seems this hex pack aether current uh, the expansion aether currents have been a lot easier than some others. Yeah, uh <laughs> My experience has been, yes, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. I actually found find, finding a couple in uh, in N, N Walker were, were a bugger. Um, heh, how about we give you that the chance to tell them yourself? See how tough you are then. Oh, shit. Oh, that's Aaronville. Vance will not notice you here. You can safely eavesdrop on any... Da -da -da -da. Uh, 
I hear someone entering the room on the other side. Bought back a prize you're gonna love, boss. Have a look at this bracelet. Beautiful, ain't it? It was made by a famous artisan. You idiot. How are we supposed to move something like this without attracting attention? Oh shit. Boss, please. Please, I I'm sorry. Uh, reckon we can find a sailor who won't ask questions. Sell it for a song. Here, your war reward. Don't bring me this kind of grief again. I, I won't, boss. Thank you. <laughs> Finished, are you? Let's retreat for now. So, were you able to learn anything? Their leader is a man of the Dust Watch. Trial for Dawn Trail. Everyone got a new weapon except me. Oh, no. That would explain why these bandits have been able to do as they please. And you say they've got the, they gave the bracelet to him. Oh, and no mount drop. Aw, oh, man. Well, always gotta, always gotta give her another try then, right? Seems we have our work cut out for us. Did you, did you hear anything else of note? Sakawa, that's the boy who confronted one of the officers, officers in town, isn't it? And you say they threatened to take him to speak with the vulture, their leader's alias, no doubt. Fitting for a man who preys on the helpless. 20 runs! Wow! Well then, not only do we have a better idea of who's behind the recent rash of robberies in Hostwi, uh, but we also know he has the bracelet. Retrieving it without bloodshed will prove difficult, though. He's that quick to point a gun at his own underlings. Storm their hideout. I can take them. Need to get him alone. You're right. If we get, confront him with his henchmen around, a violent outcome is all but guaranteed. Hmm. I might have a plan. There's a small settlement to the southeast of here. Lawata. Holy jeez. Lawata. Yawasa. Yawasa. Yeah. Lat Latuna Wasa. Sure, that's what I'm going to go with. Meet me there, and I'll explain everything. So is there is there a time limit on how many attempts you have, Ashen? Like, is there, like, a lockout or anything like that? No, just real life time. Gotcha, gotcha.
There's the lad. If we're to retrieve the bracelet without conflict, it won't be done barging in through the front door. We'll have to lure him out. To do that, we'll avail ourselves of the Yahachawi, dragon-like creatures that live to the south of here. It's their breeding season, you see, and the males will flock out to the scent of female in heat. Oh, great. With a few ingredients and a simple sample of their feces, I can create an, attra uh, an attractment, attractant that resembles this scent when burned. We can then lure the Yahahat, the Yahachawi, uh, into the bandit's hideout, flushing out the vulture and his gang. And while they contend with our flying friends, we can sneak in and search for the bracelet. I'm afraid I must ask you to collect the extra mint while you see to that. I will go and procure the remaining ingredients. Awesome! And before you say anything, I do not ask this because of any aversion to feces. It would simply be easier for me to find the specific species of wild plants we require. Here, take these three pouches, see them filled, and I'll handle the rest. Ah, uh, just when you thought you'd reached the low point of tasks as the warrior of light. <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing like a good old crap collector. MSQ and Dodge Hill. Not enough, I tell you. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Slayer of de Despair. Liberator of... of Dona. And Crap Collector. Oh my god. Oh, a Triceratops. Or a Looney Yu Looney Yu Yeah, I'm going to stick with Triceratops. Oh, and a Pterodactyl, which is probably another word that is. Something I can't pronounce. The seven signs get evaporated yet? No, I haven't seen any seen any evaporation yet. Good to see you, Tonics. How you doing, brother? Hurts a little. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, arthritis. Yeah, that can be. That can be troublesome, man. He's get the get seen on accident. <laughs> yeah, heck away. Oh, no shit here, Swiftwind. And the foul-smelling nest, I'm assuming, is the one we want. Oh, yeah. Good times. 
even if it takes you all night. Uh, All right, pterodactyl, you do you. Yeah, no, 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 sorry. Stealing your poop. Ha ha, I got your poop. Ah, look at that triceratops waddle, waddle, waddle. In the meantime, I'm going to keep playing. Oh, ever, ever moving the target further out. You sneaky bugger. Now they will learn to use guns. Oh, God. Finished already, are we? Yeah, here you go, pal. Excellent. This will do nicely. All that's left is to make the feces and the tumble cloth fibers, try napaland, uh, tender, root, and generous helping of animal fat. Come, let's get back to Tana, uh, Tana Tanaway. Tana Tanyawi. Yeah, let's. See, it's a, a pallet tender. Whoa, 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 get away from me, you big cactus bastard. Oh boy, an earth golem's to boot. And the, 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 the warriors rode them. Yes, I, I was actually going to say that, but I couldn't remember the name of the cartoon. Triceratops Cop and Kung Fury was the most frightening and wielder of all. Only shuffle between the legs. No. Right, right, right. I keep on forgetting. I got to watch that video. Shooting people between the legs. That is dastardly. Everything is ready. Time to set our plan into motion. Enville's gaze is fixed on the bandit's hideout. A fair number appear to be gathered inside. Now's our chance. I will keep watch from here. The attractant I leave to you. Toss it into the bonfire near the middle of town. The Ahakawai will come soon after. Oh, I'm just... I'm, yeah, you keep watch. That's that seems to be that seems to be your your most ardent skill. Oh boy. It's the queen of disaster herself. Hi boo. Well, come on. Got it. You got to show everyone, show everyone the tail. Oh, the big stretch. You here to help dad with the bandits? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, dad doesn't know how to play, I know. Come on. How about you settle yourself? Yeah, oh, goodness. Yeah, it's Boo, see? It's even an icon on the internet for you now. Holy jeez. I think I should become your manager and you can do the streams from now on. How's that?
<laughs> okay. All right. Dad's got work to do here. fail if I out oh, too late now cutscene if you get caught okay hey boo oh my goodness see I've got to do what the warrior of light does for you guys every day maybe the warrior of light is a cat owner that's why we don't mind picking up poop hey you little poop monster What's that smell? Yeah, poo picker. <laughs> Poo's like, you love it. No, I don't. Ah, oh, that reeks. Hey, not on the keyboard, sweetie. What the hell did you put in the fire? My sweetheart. Wasn't me, I swear. Yeah, Boo is the real warrior of light. Ah, see, you're a smart man. Oh, did something die? Ooh, even the color looks really... Someone want to explain what uh, un that ungodly stench to me? The warrior of darkness yes i i would uh i would say that works out about well B boss over there huh oh shit what in the world oh god oh no Oh no, they're gonna do terrible things. Run for your lives! Uh, so the smoke's what drew him here. I swear when I find out who did this. Oh. I'd say our friends have stirred up enough trouble. Time to retrieve the bracelet. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Boo. This is why you don't touch Dino Poo. This is correct. Hey, what's going on out there? I'm still in here in case you've forgotten. Sit tight. We'll be back for you. You gotta get me out of here now. They're gonna kill me. I'm begging you, please. Shh, they'll hear you. <laughs> Aaron Phil. Jesus Murphy. Shh, 
shit. Who is that? <sighs> hey, are you going to help me out or what? Ah, uh, the bracelet must wait. Let's break him out and withdraw for now. <laughs> All that effort and not the show for it. Ah, oh, we got got the kid out. Sorry about that. Damn, I didn't think anyone had the balls to take on the vulture. No need to apologize. We were planning to save you eventually. Eventually? Really? I don't even know who you are. You secret admirer of my admirers of mine or something? Yeah, yeah, or something. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. But I do appreciate the help. This man they call the vulture. I've seen his face before. Was he not the officer you confronted in town? The one and the same. When he's not masquerading as gang leader, he serves he serves as deputy chief of the Dust Watch. That would explain why the bandits are so confident they can avoid capture. You're, tr uh, you're trying to get back something the vulture stole, right? Let me help. The least I can do after you bailed me out back there. I have an idea where he's hid his cash. Reckon he's headed there now, too. We can go together. I got a score to settle with him myself. I don't doubt that you do, but we need to know what it is, uh, what it is first. Will you tell us? Right, so those bandits at Tatanyawe, they're called the Daybreakers, and it was me and my friends that founded the group. But it wasn't a gang of cutthroats, not back then. We just wanted to protect people who couldn't protect themselves. Kids being harassed by bullies, workers being exploited by the mining concerns, folks who needed help to even the odds. Awesome. That was three years ago. Whenever we found someone scheming in the shadows, we settled matters the best way we knew how. With a duel. I see. By the old laws, anyone who loses in a duel must be held to account for their crimes, even those in positions of authority. And we made damn sure they did every time. Before we knew it, our small band of friends commanded a force to be reckoned with. Then, about a year ago, Vulture and his thugs showed up. They got the better of us and took over the Daybreakers. Everyone was afraid of him, so they did his bidding without question. But when he showed them how they would make a how they can make a fortune easily, that was when he was he really won them over. Now the Daybreakers are nothing but a bunch of bandits and cutthroats who prey on the people it was created to protect. talked it over with my friends, Quicana and Luini, and we all agreed the only way to stop him was to challenge him to a duel. He accepted. Still remember how he gloated that he'd win. Then the day came, he showed up, the dust watch, and had my friends arrested on charges of robbery. As if it wasn't enough, he set their bail at a price no one could ever hope to pay. Them locked away and there was no one left to help me. None of my old friends from the Daybreakers and certainly not the Dust Watch.
And that's why you were ready to challenge him in the middle of town. I was, until that guy with the spear stopped me. No sooner had I stepped out of town than the Vulture's minions caught me by surprise. They took me prisoner. Then, well, you know the rest. You said the Dostwatch would be of no help. How are they all working for the Vulture then? No, not all of them. Sheriff Kamaka, he's as honest as, as honest as they come, staunch keeper of the peace. Problem is, he's a little too trusting, doesn't suspect a thing. If it were my word against the deputy chiefs, who do you think that he'd believe? Ah, uh, don't let Estinian stop you. He's a kitten. Harmless, really. Yeah, he's a big pushover. Well, if he knows where this vulture keeps his spoils, perhaps he can help us recover Namika's bracelet. What do you think? What it's worth, I have a plan, but I can't do it alone. A plan? All I ask, you hear me out, but not here. I'll be waiting for you at Shesen Shesh Sesh sorry Sheshenway Sheshen was the yes Sheshen was the springs And this does give you a good tongue workout I'll tell you what I guess we can decide what to do after he gives us the pitch this loot. I expect you'll show up soon. All right, here we go. Anvil looks expectantly for Wahute. Or Wahute. Look who it is. Storing stolen goods here seems risky, but I suppose it's an option for someone with this authority. I'm going to be coming back and forth to watch, so I'll be lurking. Awesome, Tonics. Thank you so much for the lurk, brother. Yeah, he moves the spoils in cerulean barrels where no one would think to look. They mixed in with regular shipments of fuel to Tully alone, where they're sold off. said he stole a bracelet of yours, right? If he knows you're on his tail, chances are he'll be eager to get what he can for it. I doubt he'd trust the lackey with that business, given the providence of the piece. No, I'll wager he's not letting that bracelet out of his sight till he's got coin in hand. I wasn't sure what to make uh, of you after a... It's not to be, uh, but I'm glad to see you more than an, um, an impulsive child. Ah, uh, well, not my finest hour, I'll admit. There's a lesson to that. Vulture's a slippery bastard. We're going to catch him. We need to get him back into a corner with hard evidence. That's my plan. Or 
first, we need to lure him away from here. Over to the Hasatawi. Over to Hasatawi would be ideal. For that, I need one of you to help me. This will buy time for the other to search the barrels for any stolen goods. Using that will explode, expose him as a criminal. There's no way to tell if Wuate is carrying the bracelet, but regardless, there will be time enough to find it once he's behind bars. But won't he simply feign innocence? Oh, he'll try. That's when I'll challenge him to a duel. A duel? That approach didn't work out so well for your friends as I recall. True, but unlike before, I'll challenge him in front of the whole town. That way he won't be able to wriggle out of it like before. Every man, woman, and child of the wilds understands the importance of duels and the old laws. A deputy chief would never disgrace himself by refusing. But wouldn't you be breaking the law by using a firearm in town? It's not as if we'd be using live rounds, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's important is I get him to duel with as many witnesses as possible. He loses, and he will lose. It'll be the end of the vulture. Plan is not without flaws, but what do you think? Yeah, say let Sakawa have his duel. Thanks. Sure was lucky running into the two of you. You won't regret this, I promise. If you're satisfied, then so am I. I knew I could count on you. I was seen in Yawi, so it's probably best I stay and search the barrels. And you're with me. Tell the vulture I tried to rob you, but you managed to overpower me. Even if he suspects a trap, he won't be able to resist taking the bait. You'll want to buy your friend as much time as possible. Make your way to Hisatawi. Once you've got the vulture there, I'll take care of the rest. All right, then. Let's get to it. Shatona is doing. What's his angle? Huh. Then there's that brat. Past time I dealt with him. Ha! <laughs> sure. Huh? What's this? Ah, unfamiliar face in these parts. <clears throat> Any need of the dust watch, sir? What? Sakawa tried to rob you, but you apprehended him. I see. So desperate was he to see his friends free from prison, he turned to a life of crime. How awful. Yeah, my sincerest thanks, sir. I had trouble you to take me to him. Ha! 
Oh, wow. We're actually escorting. That's hilarious. Not this is an appropriate time for me to play tour guide, but if you insist, Shenwaze Springs is home to thriving cerulean mining industry. The prospect of easy coin has attracted some undesirables, though. Is the place? I don't see him. That's a little further. Let's see. Uh, very well. Lead on. Beware of beasts in these parts. They may prefer to snack on ceruleum, but for you, I reckon they'd make an exception. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, the artists sure do deserve a raise, dude. just all the different vegetation and whoops is this the place then Still learning my way around. Some sort of joke. All the let's keep moving. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, look at those little little fluffy buggers. Oh shit. Uh, that's a big boy. This better be the place. Uh, now I remember. Uh, big rock. Uh, now I remember. Patience is wearing awfully thin, sir. Isn't the next place we stop? I may be forced to do something you and I would both dearly regret. No, no, no. It, it would just be you regretting it, sir.
I she'd rather I feed you one raw, needles and all. Cut the chit chat. Okay, okay, man. Alright, where is he? Do, 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 do. I don't see him anywhere. Where is Zakawa? Tell me where he is or I'll bury you in the same grave. How did he must have escaped? How did he must have escaped? That's it. I've had it with these games and I've had it with you. Hey, Wabute, you looking for me? You want a place for place me under arrest you'll have to work a little harder oh shit you'll be begging for a cell by the time I'm done with you to me I see how does he not know this is a trap well uh, uh hubris I I don't know <laughs> well well if it isn't our young outlaw You've taken up stealing, I'm told. I can't say I'm surprised about that, but I am surprised that you'd offer yourself up to be arrested. Sorry to disappoint. Some say it's high noon. You're the one who's going to answer for their crimes today. Ooh. In my bag. So you found the stolen goods. That's fine work. This barrel was at Shishenowetsi Springs, mixed in with others bound for Tuliola. The landscart would have presumed it part of the regular ceruleum shipments and waved it through. And once it reached its destination, it would have been retrieved, and its content sold for coin. The audacity. Do we know who's behind this? As fortune would have it, I spied the leader of this operation being handed one of the stolen items. A bracelet, which Vau Wuklamat had intended for her nursemaid, Namika. It, it, it was from the Vow of Resolve? Yeah, you got it, jackass. Oh, you've seen it then? <laughs> no, no, never. And if I knew who had it, I would have arrested the scoundrel. You've had to arrest yourself. Come on, but I saw you with the bracelet. Yeah, arrest yourself. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Wuhute? 
That's right. It's the it's Sam. It's the Sam Elliott of. Uh, I have the bracelet, yes, but I only because I found it. I, I swear. I investigated myself. Found myself not guilty. <laughs> They're the real criminals. They concocted this scheme to frame me so they could get me out of the picture. Oh, yeah. If you feel your honor's at stake, there's always the old fashioned way. Oh, shit. The law which folks have used to settle their differences for generations. You don't mean oh boy oh the people want the the people want the high noon I challenge you to a duel the winner is right the loser is wrong doesn't get simpler than that yeah have at it let your pistols do the talking! Please, do you honestly believe you can goad me into playing your game? You refuse then? Huh. A baby alpaca's got more fight than <laughs> Kill you. Kill each other. I challenge you to triple try that. <laughs> All right, boy. But remember, you asked for this. Come on, Zakoa! Give him what for! Shouldn't we stop him, Chief? Even if it's just rubber bullets, we're in the middle of town. Be quiet. Just watch. <laughs> I'm totally getting Sam Elliott vibes off this dude. Classic tumbleweed. Turtles or dogs in Yoshi P's second favorite game. Elden Ring. Okay, okay. I apologize for dueling in the middle of town. If you want to lock me up, then lock me up. But please, let my friends go. They've done nothing wrong. You drew your gun within town limits. But we Hoote drew first. Far as I'm concerned, you acted in self-defense. You're free to go. Ooh. As are your friends. Ha! Ah, you're not such a bad guy after all! <laughs> Just a man of the wilds. Like you. But to think that Wihute had taken control of the Daybreakers, it pains me that it happened right under my nose. What are you going to do about his crew? Some of them are still in Tona Tenui. Those who have broken the law will be taken into custody. Ah. Thank you for the hydrate there, my good friend. Q 
keep the keep the water handy at all times. But those who haven't will be given the chance to resume walking the straight and narrow. What about you, Zakua? What do you intend to do now? Oh, gonna make him a gonna make him a sheriff? Why? What I've always done. Protect the weak and help the helpless. The old fashioned way. Ha <laughs> ha. Here. This was Vauk Lamont's gift for someone, wasn't it? Yes. A person very dear to her. What a nice bracelet it is. I suppose this is where we you have fun and enjoy this. <laughs> the well, extension. For your awesome, my brother. Uh, you enjoy the uh, the MSQ yourself. And uh, thanks for popping in. Thanks for the sub again, my friend. It means so much to me. And uh, we'll catch you down the road. All right, folks, this is, a good, this is a good point for me to take a very quick bio break, uh, and I am going to actually put a, put a pot of coffee on. Uh, so that way, uh, for my next, uh, my next brief interlude, I'll be able to uh, top the coffee up, but I will be right back. Thanks, everyone, for uh, hanging in there and checking out the channel. If you haven't done so already, please consider giving me a follow, guys, uh, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back, folks. Soundtrack reminds me of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Soundtrack Hollow, also. They're in the old PlayStation games, Wild Arms. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, like, like as always, the, like, I mean, the, it's the, it's the combination of everything that just, it so well and I and I like that even though we've just seen a cut scene that is absolutely terrifying we're back into oh it's vacation slash adventure time right you know like just like taking care of local local problems you know no you know super craziness that ended up being rather more complicated than expected but all's well that ends well. Phew! Finally, it's over! Couldn't have brought him to justice without your help. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Aaronville is relieved to see everything set to rights. Now that we've have the bracelet, let us return to Shoshana's Shosen way. Shenoise Springs. God damn these words. We'd be staying there long. I'd like to give you a proper thanks after I find my friends. We weren't planning on it, but there's no need to rush. We'll see you at the Springs then. Never remembering any of these words. I I'll just always say we uh, and ends way. Jeez, wrong town, derp a derp. Yeah. 
Shoshana was a... There we go. That's a little better. Shoshana was a... Oh, cool. Very cool amount. Look at the texture on that, dude. Holy. My bracelet. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is more than just a gift. It is a part of me I could never hope to replace. Truly, Wook Lamat is blessed to have such devoted friends. Well, I wouldn't put it quite that way. I prefer to think of us more as long-standing acquaintances. Ha! Ah, ah. You're such a jerk, Aaronville. Regardless of how you choose to describe it, there's no denying the depth of your bond. Oh, I'm sure you'll continue to do so. Can't say I'm surprised the Deputy Chief turned out to be the bandit's leader. I always knew something wasn't right about him. An easy claim to make with the gift of hindsight. Hee 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 hee. There you are. The real daybreakers have arrived. I'd like you to meet my two best friends, Quikana and Lewin. If it wasn't for you believing in Zakawa, doing what you did, we'd still be locked up. You have no idea how satisfying it was to see the bastard Wawate put behind bars. Never gave up hope that Zakawa would find a way to get us out. He always was the best of the daybreakers. Glad he was able to convince you to go along with his plan. Unfortunately, our group is smaller now, lacking in strength besides. Some outlaws might see us as an easy target. Even so, anyone should give the dust watch the slip. Daybreakers will be there. We'll train night and day, so no one will get the better of us ever again. Isn't that right? Right, and you'll teach us how do you draw your pestles so fast, won't you? We don't need to duel. All goes as it should. The off chance it doesn't. We best make sure everyone can match or beat my speed. We owe you a great debt. One of these days. I'll be sure to repay it. On that, you have my word. Till we meet again. If you'll excuse me, I shall find a quiet place to rest. As I'll be here a while yet, though, do you let me know if there's any way I can be of assistance. Or are you not planning to take the train home? Oh, train service has been suspended, didn't I tell you? You mentioned no such thing. Something about the tracks being damaged in the last quake. The tunnel was closed as well. An earthquake. It must have happened when we were still down south. There have been quite a few tremors of late. A rather large one struck not long before you two arrived. I can only hope no one was hurt. At any rate, if you want to, to know when the service will resume, you could speak with the station master yourself. Let's do that. The station is just over there.
It seems that people aren't too happy about the train delays. I'm so sorry, but we're not sure when the train will be running again. Uh, you've got to be joking. Of all the places to get stuck at on the way. <laughs> Yeah, how rude. <laughs> Please don't tell me you've come to complain too. <laughs> or a lad. We heard that the earthquake had caused disruptions and wanted to ask when operations would resume. Uh, but I see that it will be a while yet. I'm afraid so. Too few hands for too much work. It's time-consuming enough to inspect the tracks after every quake, but this last one we got after the succession ceremony was massive. Made a mess of a whole bunch of railroad ties. The succession ceremony? We would have been in Tuliola at the time. If it was as violent as you say, we should have felt it as well. I have to admit, it was a touch strange, having seen my fair share of tremors. If I had to describe it, it felt more like the rumbling from an explosion. Oh, shit. Is there anything I can do to help? Seriously? You're offering to help? That's what we do, buddy. What about you, my friend? If you'd rather strike out on your own, I understand. Though, if you were willing to lend us a hand, too, We'd be truly, tremendously grateful. <laughs> Add beans for lunch. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Shenza, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you would please step inside, I can introduce you to everyone. Sorry for dragging you into this. I'm the warrior of late. I'm used to that stuff. Drag me in. There they are. That's them. The two volunteers. <laughs> Walika is our station master, and over there is our top driver, Nito Ikwe. And this grizzled mug is Zofia, an engineer who joined around the same time as me. Much obliged for the help. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. I promise. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, talk about a flashback. Something the matter? Holy jeez. Do you happen to be a fan of trolleys? They're fine, I suppose, but they're no match for our cerulean-powered engine. She's absolutely glorious, let me tell you. If you'd like to bask in her beauty, well, you should visit the depot behind the platform. Hmm. Right then. What I'd like you two to do is help us procure timber. We'll be using it to fashion new railroad ties. So it needs to be the strongest stuff we can get. In these parts, that means the trees in the Piata Yonan Plain. It is Hetsaro territory, though, so we need to get their permission first. All right. Come on, no time to waste. Shit.
though no small number live in Sh Shaloni, I must confess I, that I never visited the home of the Hatsaro. They largely live in accordance with older traditions. I suspect they may have a few, uh, have a dim view of the railroad. railroad. Alright, Aaronville is eager to be off to the Pyorian Plain. Pyorian Plain, whatever. Come, let's follow Walika. There's another station on the way, so be sure to drop in. The train will be in the depot, but you can still see it from the outside. Quite taken with the sleek design of that head in myself. Though if you peek through the window, you can probably catch a glimpse of... Enough jabberings. Enough jabberings, Senza. Shenza. Nice, these two, we finally have some real work to do. Let's get to it. We'll see you later. <laughs> suppose there's no harm in stopping at the station. It's on the way after all. Okey Here we go. Flying around, it's night time. Whoa, hey, Nubatender, you keep your cactusy paws to yourself. Oh, wow! Cool, cool, cool. I must confess, the train is an impressive sight. How easy it must be to ship goods throughout the wilds now. Right. Oaha, Tsoan should be to the south northeast of here. Let's continue on. Alright. Cross country it is. Big fella, just passing through, just passing through. Ah, there you are. Village is just up ahead. Truth be told, never had direct dealings with the people of Maoatsuan, but I do know that their traditions mean a great deal to them, as does the land. Ah, such lovely clean air. It feels like a treat after the overpowering cerulean of the Shashanzue Springs. Waters nearby are just as pristine. It's a paradise for people and animals both. I'm glad you appreciate the blessings of nature as we do. Greetings, travelers, and welcome. I am Raito, chief of the Moatsuan. This is my son, Shepto. A pleasure to meet you. 
Thank you for the warm welcome, and apologize for our sudden intrusion. I'm Walika, Walika, Station Master of Jacques, Tur Jacques, Jacques, Jacques Tural Railing. A recent earthquake has damaged our tracks. We require timber to make repairs. This is Rune and Aaronville, who have volunteered to assist us with the restoration effort. You've a most curious air about you. Oil and steel, tanned leather, and the faintest tint of fair winds blown from a distant shore, though I know not where. I gather you are not from these lands. I'm a traveler of the star. Truly. I would love to know more of you and the lands you've seen. I am told your people hold your traditions in the highest. Yet I gather you are curious about those of others as well. But of course, nature is boundless, as is our love for her lands and her children. Atso, in particular, have done much to guide our way of life. Bear to hunt, to gather, to lay our heads. That's so teach us all these things and more. It is for that reason, I believe, that we are attuned to the shifting winds around us. I see. The word Hetzo means leader of souls in the Hetzoro tongue, does it not? I went to space, <laughs> killed a god, came here, picked up poo. Yes! Yes, in that, yes, that is, has to be the way the story goes. Traveled through time. Went to a place that was kind of like hell, but wasn't hell. It does. There are many creatures revered as Hetzel among the Hetzelero. Here we take to the Ronik for guidance. However, as you may have gleaned from our use of aetherites, while we are committed to our traditions, this does not mean we reject all outside influences. That said, there are certain things that give us pause. We will furnish you with timber you require, but first, as neighbors in this land, we ask that you indulge us in a discussion. We'd be glad to, of course. Wonderful. We do not often receive guests from such a, from, from such a long way, and my son is always so delighted to hear their tales. Now, if you'll follow me. Yeah, right after I tune to your eighth rate, Crystal. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Aetherite to attune to. There we are. Will speak frankly. We fear the winds of change will soon bring misfortune to the land. The Ronique have made the potential for danger plain. As you may have heard, their temperament has become erratic of late. Yeah, we heard that. A stableman near Hutsui mentioned that. Do you know what has caused this? We have our suspicions. Since others were drawn to this land by Cerulean, Shaolone has undergone a transformation. We 
and the railroads are a part of that. As strong and resilient as they may seem, Roni are sensitive creatures. The roar of the train is, as it thunders through the plains may well cause them distress. You're a jack of all trades. <laughs> that we are. As my father said, we do not necessarily reject outside influences or innovations, but in this, we can't help but worry. Understandably. Thank you for being forthright. This matter concerns not only the Hitsero, but all of Shaloni. Hmm, perhaps we should bring the uh, to the attention of Valcona. Valcona, you say? You know him only through room. Uh, we don't know him only through rumors, but he is apparently, how shall I put this, hard-headed and aloof. He values technological advancement and efficiency to the detriment of all else. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, mind your tongue, Shepato. <laughs> well, there is a grain of truth to the rumors. He is not nearly as bad as they make him out to be. Strings have changed him for the better. It's a bit awkward, so he tends to get misunderstood. Passionate man who cares for his people like his sister. Yeah, I'm going to say his journeys have changed him for the better. So, in the course of traveling with him, you witnessed him change with your own eyes. Rune fought beside Valcona in the right of succession. I'd take his word over rumors. You took part in the right of succession? You're that close to the Dawn servants? I was grateful for any help, but had no idea I had recruited a bona fide hero. Eh. Another, another, another day, another dollar. The secession of the Dawn servants filled us with uncertainty for the future, but there's clearly much we do not know. On this particular occasion, the winds of change are not meant to be feared. No, we must open our hearts and minds that we might see Valcona for who he truly, truly is. Do you think he might visit someday? Just as his father offered us guidance, I'm hopeful that he will do the same. Thank you for hearing and allaying our concerns. I'm glad we could speak. As for your timber, we have freshly cut logs near the lake. Please take all that you require. We're terribly grateful. I promise we'll keep the Ronit for foremost in our minds as we continue working on the railroad. If needs be, we'll seek Valcona's counsel. My thanks again for your time and to the timber. We shall endeavor to return the favor. I hope to see you again soon. Awesome. Oh, it's a fuzzy mocote in the wild. Ooh, the outfit looking good there, brother. That is a fine reaper weapon. And I love the spikes on the shoulder pads, too. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks freaking cool, dude. Looking good, sir. But to Timber Timber Town we go. We have more than enough timber to fix the ties. Now we need to transport it to the station, which will be a bit more involved than I thought. Didn't expect we'd be given so much. 
I can wait and hear a spell while I round up a few more hands in a Ronik. I won't be long. I'm glad that went well, and thankfully it seems we won't need to make several trips for the timber. Yeah, several thousand trips. All right, let's uh, bump, 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 bump. Oh. 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 <laughs> Arrow. Now that is a shiny, nice new bow. Oh, and it looks like skulls on the on the fletchings. Oh man, that is freaking cool. All right, Tonics, we'll see you when you get back, brother. Aaronville regards the pile of timber with undisguised wariness. While we wait, we should get started moving the timber somewhere more accessible. It shouldn't take long if we split the work. Split the work, he says. Oh, Jesus. Ha! <laughs> hey, Gala Cat, you gotta, Gala Cat, you gotta protect me, buddy. Coming through! Coming through! Oh, God. I should think this will be enough. It's mighty kind of you to move all that lumber. Oh, it's Walika. That was mighty kind of you to move all that lumber. Store we didn't make it back sooner. We'll see to the rest. Once we've repaired the tracks, we'll have you on the first train out of town. Ain't that right, Chief? As much as I'd love to make it so, there aren't any stop spots available. You'll have to wait for the one after, I'm afraid. But you'll be riding free of charge. It's the least we can do to repay your kindness. <laughs> Isn't that great? Out of the Big Lebowski. <laughs> That's fine, bro. Namika and no few others were here long before we arrived. It's only right they go before us. Hope you'll stop by and see the train off. It's a breathtaking sight, let me tell you. And Natawaki, uh, Natawaki, 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 Wikwi, will be driving. No engineer compares to her. It's always a treat to watch her work. Look at the eyes on the Ruinik. Just amazing. The only work we'll be worried about is our, should be worried about is our own, Shenza. We've still more to do. I'll find somewhere quiet near the station to pass the time. If there's anything else in Shaloni you're keen to see, I'll leave you to it.
And your fill of the sights? Well, they appear to have almost finished. Yeah, okay. Okay. Your seat. Here she comes. Back for a few minutes. Awesome. service much faster than anticipated you have our gratitude <sighs> there's nothing so enchanting as a cerulean powered engine in motion <laughs> ain't that the truth don't think i'll ever tire of watching them chugging along oh, they make wagons look like toys and so long as we can lay the tracks she can go on and on and on before you know it, she'll be crossing the entire continent. Railroads are a somewhat recent addition to Tral. As it stands, we can only ferry folks as far as Yasolani. And from an operational standpoint, we still have much to learn. There's always some problem or another to deal with. But we'll keep working at it. We'll hone our craft and continue expanding till one day our trains are running coast to coast. That's the ultimate dream. Awesome. Look at that background. When you were five, trains were your favorite thing. That's awesome, man. Got uh, got to go on the train quite a bit when I was a kid, and it was always fun. Goodness, I completely lost track of time. By now, I expect the train will be nearing Yasolani. When it returns, we'll see you on your way. So if you've got any preparations to make, <laughs> you better make oh, them quick. Oh, shit. Not another one? You can't be serious. Uh, the sky's darkening. That's a problem. What the... What 
What's happening? <laughs> the train. Natomic That's and the awesome, Tonics. My home lies that way as well. Oh shit. Hi, Felix. It's your turn now. Ugh, we're going to investigate right now. No, how about? Yeah, Felix. Yeah, see, buddy. Even you've even you've got an emote. Oh yeah, you big suck. Oh shit. Uh I re I recognize those sigils. Kind of. It's kind of the same thing, right? Need to get back right away. These cutscenes are so wild now. And I mean, what once again, the people need our help. The cutscenes have always been great in Final Fantasy 14, but this tech is takes it to another level. Yeah, no more jazz OSD. <laughs> Can you stand? Try to remain calm, everyone. Yeah. What the? Yeah. Oh, crap. I don't know what they are, but they're not men. They didn't they didn't give us much of a reprieve before the before the other she really fell holy whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what's she doing here that is who i think it is right oh no it's someone different okay oh my god You see their mail. <laughs> wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did it just do? Who am I? Oh, it's tied to the other cutscene. Okay. 
alcohol. It took their aether and something else. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, save the things. Just get to safety. Yeah. Thank you, Buckle Jaja. Uh-huh. Taco you no more. Yeah. I can I can, can I, after that I'll I'll consider us uh that the debt repaid. Oh, that's not looking good. Uh, this is simply how I do things now. Ho 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 Questions. Correct me if I'm wrong, didn't I? Didn't they show Ket and Ram there for a second? Am I going nuts? I'll have to rewatch this later. I just. So, Roger? New cosplay outfit dream unlocked. Yeah. faster stronger better he got the six million gill upgrade yeah see what the hell's getting ram doing there this is your butchery isn't it i don't i'm confused now He doesn't view it as a betrayal. He views that throne as his. My demand is simple. The dissolution of Tuli Yolol and surrender of all its territories. Okay, guys, I'm I'm gonna uh top up my coffee really, really quick here.
All right, guys, thanks for hanging in there. This is <laughs> refuse, and I will kill every last one of you. Easy there, Tiger. No, my ambition remains unchanged. To teach the masses the folly of war that they cry out for peace and thus unite the world. What has changed you so much and in so short a time? To harm the very people you swore to serve. <sighs> this is an unforgivable deed committed by my son. My son! Oh, shit. is strong. He has never been father's equal in combat. Oh, I think we're going to see a little different outcome this time, folks. I believe you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. Wow. So it's got its own self, its own, its own built-in resurrection. What? Wow. Despite his old age, the mighty Gulul Jaja remains a fearsome foe indeed. You retain the vitality of two souls despite the passing of one. Oh 
My astonishment is not at the little judge uh, being killed. It's the uh, the level of uh, graphical death there, which is one of the one. Of, like I mean, I I can't remember uh, another death scene quite being like that. No, no, look. No, 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 no. You are no match for me. On my honor, has vow a resolve. I'll make you pay. So the once faint-hearted girl would live up to her title. Very well. If only to demonstrate the disparity between us, I give you a chance to prove yourself. Rally the entirety of your strength. Lay siege to my kingdom. Strike me down, like I did father. Then, will you be his worthy successor? Hmm. Ooh. What the fuck did I just see? Hard my language. Or in my language, folks, but what the fuck did I just see? Uh, Final Fantasy 14 has grown all up, folks. Uh, the, uh, the, the other shoe dropped all right. He's still breathing. Holy fuck. Uh, but the blood coming out of the mouth, that huge. And there's nothing. Oh, yeah, he's blinking. So he's he's still alive ish. Uh... Wow. No, Papa can't die. He can't. Got 
sorry. Hang on there, Papa. I gotta check out my new upgrade. Such an asshole. Okay, yeah, I don't... Yeah, not... I mean, the upper part, cool. Lower part, not so much. Not a big fan of the, uh... <laughs> the bicycle shorts, but... That's all right. Gear, gear will change. Book Lamotte is struggling to process what she has witnessed. How? How could this happen? <laughs> da, 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 da. This does not seem like the right music you want to hear at that moment. Wait, hey, what the fuck, man? Now I need to go to bed. Awesome, Tonics. Thanks so much for hanging out, man. You have yourself a good rest, and we'll catch you soon, brother. Enough. I am beyond saving. Father, please. You can't give up. Yeah, <laughs> You'll be up all night thinking about the game. <laughs> yeah, that uh, sounds about right. Are you there, a friend? I'm right here. I'm right here. Look after my children. What? I'm an old fossil like you. I've only got so many years left. But if that's what you want, it would be an honor. You and I must go on another journey together someday. Hi, you can count on it. The graves of the Yokui. You saw them, yes? I always found their teachings comforting. <laughs> Please, Father, you must save your strength. flesh may wither and die but so long as we are remembered we are never truly gone through you my hopes survive through you I live on so do not mourn me Walk tall and see your nation to a brighter future. <laughs> Ooh.
Right, so, uh, I... Bavuk Lamat, Valcona, I bring word from the city. The enemy is withdrawn, and the lands guard have begun rendering aid to the people. Casualties within our ranks have hindered progress, but we continue to do all that we can. I thank you for the report. Please inform the guard they are to prioritize such efforts until further notice. The people. I need to help them. We will assist you in whatever way we can, of course. Thank you, thank you. There are sure to be wounded everywhere, more than I could count. We'll split up and help all of them. You can count on us. Alphino and Alice, could you take Bayside Bevy and Kryle and Erinville, the palace perimeter? Tvarun, please come to the Raven Resplendent Corridor with me. We'll all meet back here afterwards. Uh, that was something all right. I think I'm all right. Did you see them? Those soldiers. They looked like people, but they killed and killed with no hesitation. They attack us again. How can we hope to defend ourselves? Thank you, sir. But, but, but my husband and son, they they were they were oh Be fine now. Are we 
failed to protect the people. I did so many have to die. Where were Val Wuklamot, Val Kona? Uh, they're not to blame. I understand. I do, but I need to clear my head. You. I, I thought I was done for. Heard something disturbing. The enemy leader, they, they say he looked like Saral Ja. That can't be true, can it? I would the first promise to attack his own people. If it was him, what happens now? Is he going to come back? What do we do if he does? That, my friend. That's what we're trying to uh, prevent. Thank you. The, the pain's better now. But I can't stop shaking. Where did they come from? Why did they attack us? Why are those things still in the sky? We had peace under Galil Jaja. We were safe, but now... Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. finished aiding the people here. Thank you. There were children among the wounded. Children. No. Now is the time. There are still others who need help. Do go and see how things are in Talon March. And afterwards, go and find Alice and at Bayside Bevy. damage from the battle. Fighting did not spread this far, it seems. Scorch marks on the ground are doubtless from the enemy assault. Wow. Shop appears to have weathered the chaos, though its rares 
wares have been strewn across the floor. Remains unscathed, but the enemy ships continue to loom overhead. Oh, wow. And I never even thought to look up, but. Look at that. Got a little bit of that uh, Independence, Independence Day feel, like coming in with the cloud. Oh, that's kind of cool. say is it does not compute but in all in all the right ways <laughs> just I am a I'm a wee bit flabbergasted I've helped all those I could find seen them delivered into the land scouts care as many casualties as there are it, it would have been worse if the land guard hadn't fought as bravely as they did and if Zeral Ja actually meant to harm the people I mean look around the buildings are hardly damaged. I suspect his aim was more to incite fear, show that he can strike whenever he pleases. But we can discuss that later. How's Lamatia? Not doing too well. Even after what happened to her father, she's trying so hard to fulfill her duty to the people. Still, everyone has their limits. She needs rest and soon. Someone mentioned seeing her head towards the shore. Perhaps she's gone to the Gorno Truck, uh, Gorno Truck Gleam Sands. Perhaps she has. Steady now. I've brought you medicine and uh, drink. There you are, Lamati. I was beginning to... A uh, person's probably dead. Come on! Come on! Take it! Please! Oh, she's breaking my heart, man. Lamachi. Lamachi! You need rest. You and him both. I will tend to this soul. But my people, I have to help them. And you will. The Lansgard have matters well in hand. Trust in them. If there's another attack, your people will need you to protect them. They'll need you to be sharp. So please rest. Consider it your duty. I 
stood before them all, said that we'd build a nation where everyone knows happiness. So much for that promise. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What good is a vow of resolve who cannot save her people? Handle this together. You'll stick with me. Uh, thank you. My head's a little clearer now. I need to concentrate on what I can do rather than what I can't. <laughs> We've dealt with unfriendly factions before, from Yoquista longing for conquest, to adherents of blessed siblings, people who are unwilling to listen. Even so, I believe that by learning about one another and engaging in good faith, we could peacefully settle our differences. And we did. Yeah, but this is this is a little different, my dear. My brother is different. <laughs> There'll be no reasoning with him. He killed our people. Our father. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his goal. What's more, he has power. The power to destroy the peace we've worked so hard to preserve. If I'm to protect that peace, then I must fight. I must confront Zorolja and kill him. Fine. Just needed a moment to settle my nerves. Thank you for being there for me, and for urging me on despite all my sulking. Sitting around complaining isn't very leader-like, is it? So much has happened so quickly. I struggle to make sense of it all. Strange soldiers, those floating ships, the powers are all jaw commands. Given everything he's done, still intends to do. I know I can't afford to run headlong into battle. Not this time. I cannot let this terrible pain in my heart lead me astray. But I will make it my strength. Strength to do what I must. That's a good lass. Right. I'm heading back to the palace. I need to talk strategy with Kona. Could you and the others join us in a while? However we decide to proceed, I want you all to be aware of it. Oh, and could you tell Alice I'll be alright? She's probably at Bayside Bevy. Ah. sweet boy. Step. 
There's the young Miss Alice, eh? Oh, you're back. By that, I take it to mean Lamti is feeling better. She needs to be strong for the people of Tyrell. I understand that. But she doesn't have to do it alone. So if she intends to fight, then we fight together. That said, wish I knew exactly what we were up against. Level up. Oh, for the love of God. It's changed to a different pair of shorts. Oh well, I have to. I'll have to tough it out. Alice regards the fallen soldier thoughtfully. Not clearly. It's clearly not a person, but it doesn't look like any automaton or magitech weapon I've ever seen. As far and wide as you've traveled, though, perhaps you've encountered something similar before. Do you mind taking a closer look? It may yield some clues as to Zeral Jaw's new power. Angela, you may move the camera as well as zoom in. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Place of where eyes or mouth might be, you see a strange sigil on the front of his helm. From a distance, it appeared to be simple armor, but upon closer inspection, its construction is quite intricate. The material from which it's, it is made is unclear, and you see no signs of a power source. general shape of the weapon resembles a gun, but its construction suggests far more advanced than anything you've seen before. So, not a hell of a lot learned there. <laughs> so, what do you think? Shrug? It's like anything I've ever... Uh, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. Looks like a person, but it's clearly mechanical. Uh, well, that's not quite true. I mean, you know, the there was the automatons out in the uh, out in the empty or whatever. Uh, yeah, it looks like a person, but it's clearly mechanical. Indeed. While it resembles a person, it has features that make it uncanny. Lack of a face, not least of all. Do you see any sign of a power source? Nope. So it probably doesn't run on ceruleum or any other conventional fuels. I tried channeling aether into it earlier, but there was no response. That would seem to rule it out uh, as an arcane entity. It's completely lifeless now. Far cry from the unstoppable enemy it was in battle. Even the material it's made of is a mystery. Other than a metal, it's more akin to stone. Wait, haven't we seen this somewhere recently? Having the sky, the sky deep cenote. The palace is made of stone tea. Wow. Wow! That's right. The glowing stone used in the chamber with the gate to the Golden City. While the soldiers are a different color, the warships are the same black as the stone of the gate itself. There 
has to be a connection. Let's share our observations with the others when we gather at Sun Perch. The sooner we get to the bottom of this mystery, the better. Gala Kitten sitting there in front of the bow. Awesome. I was like, where's my little buddy? Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Okay. All right, Gala Kitten, race ya. Looks like everyone is here already. Thank you for coming, everyone. And thank you for taking charge in the relief effort. We would have fared far worse without you. Someone had to do it, that's all. Come, let's take stock. In terms of casualties, at least 50 died in the attack. And many times that number are wounded. All available healers are seen through their care. Structural damage at least is limited, so essential business can be conducted without issue. That said, the people are understandably shaken. We must assuage their fears and begin working to restore things to normal as quickly as possible. Now, the most confounding mystery remains our enemy. And their mechanical soldiers created with technology that surpasses anything I've ever seen. What is their nature? And how did Zoralja manage to bring them under his command? Such things remain unknown. They emerged from the dome encasing Yasolani. We're quite certain of that much. Ah, speaking of the dome. We have some theories, I'm told. Indeed. I would like to call upon some helpers to join the discussion. May I invite them here? By all means. Oh, oh. It's me. Permission has been granted. You can come in. Oh, 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 oh. Greetings, everyone. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There's the boy. Oh, and who's on the other? Yeah! Wow, 
talk about almost making me like uh ball like a two-year-old holy after that yeah voyage i had hoped that we might be afforded 100 ashen but i gather circumstances are quite dire after all we needed uh we needed the uh lady of destruction uh more more than ever all is well in the annex never fear I've already dealt with the most pressing matters, and others hold the fort in my absence. Following the changing of Dawn Servants, Galul Jarja spoke about the Golden City to his two successors. Thanks to Wuglamart, I was allowed to attend that meeting. What I heard led me to conclude that this was a matter for the students. Thus did I call upon our comrades who possess the requisite expertise. Uh -huh. It was actually after that that the dome manifested. But based on what we know, I have reason to believe that it is connected to the Golden City. While we're eager to help, we have limited familiarity with the situation. Might we trouble you to explain from the beginning? Not a problem. As you know, it was a letter I found tucked away in the Valdesian Annex that brought me to Tural. A letter from the Dawn Servant addressed to my grandfather, sent some 20 years ago. The request to investigate the City of Gold? Indeed. The strange thing is, there was mention of neither Tural nor the city in our records. Hoping to learn the truth of my grandfather's mission, what he did and saw, I volunteered to help in the rite of succession. At the end of which, I was able to hear the tale from Galul Jarja. Like us, my grandfather went to the deepest chamber of the Sky Deep Cenote, and, like us, he saw the gate to the Golden City. Is that what you required our help with? This gate? It was. You see, the gate was opened once in the past, and... It led to another reflection. Oh. 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 I can take the story from here. Considering my part in these affairs, I reckon maybe I'm best equipped to speak on the matter. I was there too, you see. In those ruins, together with Galuf and Galul Jaja, and what I saw that day, I'll never forget. Oh shit. Also, another sign shit's getting real. The echo. So is their interaction with the other re reflection what caused the disease? Sorry, that's just me asking out loud. <laughs> I'll shush. It ha 
harbors high concentrations of ether, and on the surface are what appear to be arcane patterns. They are Alagan, or Mahi, or Nemean. If anything, they put me in mind of the calculations of the South Sea Islanders, but even then, Oh my god. Oh my god, is that baby Kryle? Though it never opened again, Galif continued to study the gate for years after that, hoping to learn something of value. All he could conclude was that it was built with unknown technology, and that it led to another world, one apart from the void. We'd assumed the ruins themselves were the Golden City. 
only to discover that the real prize actually lay beyond the gate and beyond our reach. Couldn't make head nor tail of the artifact either. As it had similar properties to the black stone in the ruins, we were convinced it was important. So Galul Jaja took it to the palace for safekeeping. Galaf, meanwhile, took the baby with him back to Charlian and raised her as his own. Then the child was. Yeah. <laughs> the earring inside the letter to my grandfather. It was apparently found amongst my swaddling clothes. If this is true, then it means that you hail from another reflection. Filthy outsider. <laughs> Just joking. So it would seem I still struggle to take it all in myself. Looking back, Grandfather was always quick to seek distractions whenever I broached the subject. But never would I have guessed. Trial has her moment. Like yeah, this. for sure. What a freaking moment. But enough about me. We have more pressing matters. The forces that assailed Tuliolon. You suspect they are somehow connected to the Golden City? Thinking back on it, the soldiers look like they could have been made from the same black stone. And leading them was Zeralja. His involvement also lends weight to the theory. On the day of the succession ceremony, a bandit took me unawares and knocked me out. Okay, I was waiting for... When I came to, I found my home turned upside down, with a few particular items missing. Namely the keystones I was entrusted with, for my role as Watcher of the Gate. The bandit? You believe that it was... I only got a glimpse of him, but I was a blue-scaled hubigo. I know no other. The artifact stored at the palace was also stolen. The thief struck during the ceremony, and the guard was spread thin. So our assumption is Zoran just somehow opened that gate to another reflection, where he acquired advanced technology and his mechanical arm. It fits. And if he did, then it's also likely that the dome is a product of this unknown reflection. Hold on. We've been going on and on about reflections. But what of my home? What's become of it? Oh, Aaron. like that. Oh, we're going to find it. Indeed. Where it concerns other realities, I dare say the Scions are best suited to tackle the task. Woo! You can say that again. We've been to the literal edge of existence. Some mysterious giant dome shouldn't scare us. <laughs> As you know, our order has ostensibly disbanded. We'd thank you to be discreet about our unofficial reunion. <laughs> She says with the voice that would fucking scare. 
anyone who heard it. Huh. Worry not. We'll spare no effort to get to the bottom of this. And with our hero eager to help, you can be confident of the results. Ooh, look at his staff. Oh my god, the crystal in it now is just gorgeous. That's where my brother is, and that's where I must go. I can't say I understand everything you're discussing, but I know what I have to do. I have to put a stop to Zorosha and restore the people's happiness. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I share Lamachi's desire to join you. However, under these circumstances, it would be unwise for both vows to be absent from the city. As such, I shall remain in Tuli Yolal. Come what may, I will protect our nation. So go forth, sister, and do what you must. Thank you. Look at the bow. It may be prudent for us to likewise divide our forces. While one group ventures into the dome, the other keeps guard without. Agreed. There's something I wish to investigate out here, so I will remain. <laughs> I as well. The enemy's warships still loom overhead, and I would see that we are prepared for the worst. I wish to go to the dome. Or should you? As a student, I have an obligation to investigate this potential threat to the world. But... I'd be lying if I said I'm not deathly curious about my origins. If there's aught to be learned, then I'll You to might want to roll a warrior. Give me a second going to post a pick on Discord, okay? In that case, please let me come too. I have to see what's become of my home. I may not be a fighter, but I know those lands like the back of my hand. I can uh -huh. <laughs> If you hadn't offered, I would have asked. We're counting on you. Uh -huh. I'm not one for waiting around, so if it's all the same to you, I'll join the dome crew. Of course you will. You should accompany them, Graha. I expect your knowledge and experience will be useful. In the meantime, I intend to learn what I can about the gate, and will keep you apprised of my findings. Pray do the same. Oh, look at her eyes and the hair. All right. I'm I'm falling back under Beitola's spell. Assuming communication is possible from inside the dome, We'll maintain contact and share any developments. Sounds like a it plan. Our teams are assembled. A fine roster, I think. Oh, where's Thank Ridden in Astinian? Looks good to me. We'll find a way to deal with the threat. For the sake of Tural. It's truly heartening to have you at our side for this. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> now, before we set off. There's one thing I need to do. The people are still shaken by the attack, and I'd like to reassure them as best I can. I know what I have to do now. <laughs> or investigating the dome, what Lamont wishes to see to one important matter. I know we're in a hurry to set off, but before we do, I need to address my people. The peace we swore to uphold has been shattered. They need to understand what's happened and how we intend to fix it. So I want to call an assembly at the Winged Walk and assure them that all will be well. 
But as shaken as they are, I don't know how many will come. It's those who are most distressed that truly need to hear your words. Be like, I shall seek out such souls and encourage them to attend. I'll help too. This is an important step in the city's recovery. Care to join us, Rune? While you handle that, Aranville and I will see to the provisions for the expedition. Thank you. I'll go ahead and have the lands guard announce the address. People must first know there's going to be one before they can decide whether or not they want to hear it. You can see the resplendent quarter and a bayside bevy alice, and I will split the rest of the city between us. Yeppers! I know what tank I'm leveling now. <laughs> Holy. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous, man. I got to talk to you. So the resplendent quarter. Here we are. To the law falls to the enemy, what will happen to us? To our homes, our farms, everything we've worked so hard to build. Level 100 Poetics Weapon for Warrior. Oh. As in communities and histories, all reduced to ash by these merciless villains. I heard Val Lamont is planning to address the people. But what's the point? What can she and her brother possibly have to say? Oh, well, might be worth hearing it. Really? Dawn servants have a plan already. They have lost so much, yet they prepared to carry on. Standing around worrying about what's to come will, uh, will change nothing. We would like to say I'm hopeful for the future, but I will go hear what they intend to do. Oh, there we are. I can't believe we're, we were attacked. For a mercy, my family was spared. I don't know what I would have done had they come to harm. I understand Val Lamont is going to make an address soon. I'll be there, of course. Just making me work hard for it. Please, let me be. My father's gone. Leave me to mourn. Ooh, Jaja is slain. Yet Val Lamont and Val Kona still fight for our nation. For us. Very well. They would speak. At least I can do is listen.
Sweet. It's not safe here. Not anymore. I try to leave Tural, but where else is there to go? <laughs> the despairing alpaca herder. Oh, you look like the well-traveled sort. Please, I can't stay here. But I fear nowhere in Tural is beyond enemy's reach. What are the lands across the salt? Well, got news for you, buddy. If we don't stop them here, those those ships look pretty uh pretty equipped to uh, get across the salt. I know, I know. Even if I ran, I know I'd regret it in the end. I love Tural. This is my home. I know the Dawn servants would give their lives to defend her. I'll not put my faith in them and listen to, or sorry, I will put, I will not put my faith, I will put my faith in them and listen to what they have to say. All right. Uh, now. Figure by the time I finish running back up all the stairs, I'll have made just about the same time. are mostly intact. Glad tidings for my clients. Oh, sorry, friend, but I've no time to spare. Pao Wukwamak and Pao Kona will soon be giving a public address. I have to finish taking inventory before then. Given the circumstance, it must be quite important. You'll want to be there as well. tiring work. You've been busy helping as well, I'm guessing. Right now it's tough for everyone, but Tulialal won't succumb to this. The new Dawn Servants to protect and lead us. We'll get through it together. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a purple outfit right there. Or hot pink, whatever you want to call it. stock up with food and medicine as much as I can. What else is there? Can't afford to forget anything. Sorry, sir, but I'm busy. Too much to do, too little time. There's no telling when those stone men will return. I have to get out of here. Find somewhere safe. Ah, wow, Wook Lamont wants to speak to us. Perhaps she has a plan then. I suppose there's no harm in hearing what she has to say. Correct. Whatever it is, I don't have time. I have to finish repairing this cart. It's only one, only so much I can carry on my back. These, those hollow devils come again. I need to be ready. Baouk Lamont and Baucona meant well, mean well, but they're young and inexperienced. They barely look after themselves. We're to survive. I do not know if we can count on them.
going to strike back at the enemy. So their resolve to face this. It was too early to be thinking of running. All right, I'll go and hear their address. Good man. Anyone, anyone hanging out over here? Thing that pisses me off the most is he killed the jazz band. <laughs> yes, apparently, apparently there has been a stifling of uh, of the jazz uh, the jazz band. Well, hopefully, once we once we make things happier, it'll return. Here, are pretty amazing too. All the all the workers and stuff. Ah, there we are. Sneaky, sneaky. I can't leave now. What if the soldiers come back? What are those strange machines looming overhead? Gods, I have so many questions. I see. I put my mind to ease to learn something anything of the threat we face all right then i'll go to the wing and walk thank you i feel better already likely better still once i hear what the dawn servants have to say Looks like you've brought quite a few people. Thank you. I'll say it actually returned ahead of you. But upon hearing that you were still out there, she decided she was unsatisfied with her own efforts and left again. <laughs> My apologies for involving you all in Tarali affairs. I was simply helping dear friends in need. I mean, travel to the lands of Tural, sharing in the rich cultures of your people. I can see it no other way. What's more, Zeral John and his army pose a threat not only to Tural, but to the star as a whole. We will stand with you to protect what you hold dear. Everyone wants to single mindedly focus on being the Dawn Servant. Kudos, kudos. Thank you. Now she single-mindedly is focused on killing her brother. Oh, hey. Yeah, goals are important, right? I don't expect you have had much, if any, rest. How are you holding up? I'm fine, thanks to a little encouragement from Rune. No, you're not. You need sleep. You, you needn't worry about me either. Whatever awareness I feel is no match for my desire to protect my people. 
We will restore peace to the nation and preserve our father's legacy. And it begins by speaking to the people from our hearts. Right. We need to see a few things first, but feel free to go ahead to the plaza and wait. Their father raised them well. That he did. I sweep. Lamachi, are you all right? <laughs> yes, don't worry. I'm ready for it. The fear, and sadness, and anger. Everything. I am the reason to your resolve. But more than that, I am your brother. You needn't bear this burden alone. Remember this. As you likely already know, my father, our former Dawn servant, lost his life in the recent attack. <laughs> he challenged the enemy leader to a duel and fought with skill and valor. And for a moment, we believed he had won. Wielding an unknown power, his foe returned from death and struck him down. I could only watch as this happened. I could not tarnish my father's honor by interfering. Many of you have suffered terribly. You've taken wounds. You've lost friends and family. As vow of resolve, I failed in my duty to protect you. Words can't express the shame and regret I feel. And as much as it pains me to reveal this, the enemy leader was none other than my brother Zorolcha. Zorolcha? It's true! I saw him! We believe he staged the attack from Yasulani, which has been encased within a mysterious dome. I know that you're concerned for your loved ones there as well. But mark my words, I won't let Zorolja torment us any further. Our father gave his life to protect our nation, and I'm prepared to do the same.
you say that, but those metal monstrosities are still up there in the sky. What are you going to do about them? The enemy is still on our doorstep, and waiting for them to strike again accomplishes nothing. That's why we're going to strike first. We are going to take the battle straight to Zorolja and put an end to it all. And while my sister sallies forth, I will take charge of the city's defenses. Not another soul will come to harm. We swear to you. Like our father before us, we will lead with resolve and reason to restore peace to our nation. So please, have patience and faith. <laughs> so the resolve goes on the attack, while reason shores up the defenses. Sounds like a fine plan. Ah, but cool. Needless to say, you can count on my sword. Durant's my home, and I'll do my part for it. Hear, hear, brother. Uh -huh. That makes two of us. Uh, or, or what was that? T two of we? <laughs> uh, never mind that. Oh, fuck. What of the rest of you? Will you let others do the work? Or will you do your part and fight? We fight. We fight. We're two Leolins because we're united. We'll stand with you and weather this storm. Uh. He's right. This is our nation and it falls to us to protect it. We'll fight too for two Leolins. Me too! Me too! <laughs> We're all together in this! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We've already learned much about our foe, and we will continue to learn more. In time, we will have the means to make their warships fall from the sky. When we join hands with our countrymen and our allies from afar, we're stronger than we dare to hope. Together, let us show the enemy the might of Tuli Yolal. <laughs> You are the beating heart of our nation, each and every one of you. Uncertain days lie ahead, but for now I ask you to persevere, to go about your lives as you always do. Only then, can we ensure we have the resources to see our nation through these trials? And when the time comes, we will strike! Tuliyola will not fall. We will prevail, and peace and happiness will be ours again! Listening to Wick Lamont and Kona, I was reminded of my time in the first. While the Exarch was no king, I often found myself speaking before the people of the Crystarium in like manner. Through their deeds, they answered me. 
People of Tyrell, too, will rise to the occasion. This I can tell. All right, folks. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, well, of course. Oh, God, I got to do something about all this stuff. All right, chocobo saddlebags it is. All right, there we go. Now that's a proper outfit. There we go. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, I'm uh I am I am digging I am digging that. I'll I'll road warrior it up. Um Felix, yes, Felix does Felix would approve. Uh he is the metal kitty for sure. Uh, my, my brain is pretty much pure tapioca at this point. I, honest to God, I thought it was going to be, you know, like uh, more, like more, you know, just local, you know, Jim Jammery or whatever. Uh, which which there was but but just in a very truncated fashion it was like all right awesome our buddies uh our buddies the dodd servant i'm gonna be an adventurer check out uh zach terrell you know we're gonna have some adventures up there and uh you know well i didn't know it was the 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 wild wild west but uh you know to get there and really deal with just a, like a couple of local minor things like relatively quickly and then oh my god <laughs> small problems never lost or last long around the warrior light oh I, I know but holy and not just like they, they are masterful storytellers and, and directors right like You know, like it felt like the shoe dropped last night, but this was like, oh my God, an entire shoe store fell. Like there's so much to unpack from that, that fight scene between Zoral John Galuljaja, right? Like just how it ended was, uh, was quite literally shocking to me. Like. It knocked me on my ass to see blood fly out his mouth and just like on the stay on the teeth. Uh, the shoe got punted and just slightly. Well, yes. And then the revelation of another of another reflection, which which now. You know, I, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Uh, so so we are kind of in a star threatening <laughs> fucking situation again like i love how they've done it right oh yeah vacation time vacation time uh, sorry <laughs> shit has hit the fan uh in such a good way in such a good way um thing that shook me was learning that corral is from different chart oh that shook me well as soon as i saw the little lala fell come out with the the little bundle that was obviously a baby i was like oh my god that's krile like like wow i uh there is just too much awesome uh I, uh, I, you know, they've got, they've got nothing to worry about my, uh, 
my continued loyalty for the next 10 years. I'm in. Kryle emerged from the City of Gold. Yes. Yeah, she did. Yeah. The, oh, and, and, and really one of the only ones to emerge from the Golden City, right? And stay. So you know all the all the saying of those who enter were never are never seen again. While while Kryle came out, she didn't enter and come out. But you know whatever, just having a little play on words. And of course Zeral Jaw now, although it could be argued that he's not himself anymore. Uh but I digress. <laughs> wow. I can only see. Oh, hey, that little Lollafell had the axe you just showed me. The the hammer axe. Uh Wow, 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 guys. Uh I will be uh streaming more MSQ again tomorrow night, so I do apologize to my Baldur's Gate 3 uh fans. Uh it will be pushed out. Uh another another week uh because i do want to do the msq uh and right now i'm i'm quite quite busy with uh well just with processing the the uh vods for for youtube and stuff um not that i'm complaining i i i'd rather i'd much rather do that to be perfectly honest uh i mean Baldur's Gate 3 is is fun because i'm playing it with a good personal friend but uh but if if I was left to my own devices, I would be streaming. If I was streaming by myself, I'd be streaming something else by now. Like it's my my interest is kept in that game. Like I say, because I'm you know spending time with a good buddy, uh, and 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 uh, and going through the game with him. Because because otherwise, it's just not. Uh, it falls in and out of being my cup of tea. Let's just put it that way. Um, but yeah, Ashen, dude, you uh, you have got some endurance, my man. Thanks for hanging out, chat tonight. Everyone else who's just popped in to check out the channel, please consider giving me a follow uh, to help the channel grow. And yeah, otherwise, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. This is your pal Rune signing out for the night. God bless all. It has been difficult not spoiling. I can only imagine, dude. <laughs> you have a great night, Ash, and we'll talk soon.